Welcome to Widowcast Podcast, where you learn how to find the strength to get through your journey and the skills to coach other widows. This is not your average grief group. This is your journey group. It just may show you the way to make something amazing come out of the emotional pain and trauma of widowhood. I'm your host, Joanne Philomena. I'm the best-selling author of Widowed and Widow Coach, and I'm a professional certified life coach. Let the healing and your personal journey begin. Hello, I'm back. You're listening to episode 73 of Widowcast, Why I Do What I Do. Listen, as a life coach, I have coached many, many widows. Joanne, the life coach, has become the widow coach. You know, there's power in learning coaching tools and actually self-coaching yourself. My life transformed so much when I became a coach. Most of you know my husband died at the very end of 2014. And there were a couple of thoughts for me that were life-changing life-changing. My first thought was when Jim and I celebrated 2014 on New Year's Eve last year, he didn't know that was going to be the last year of his life. He had no way of knowing that. Then I realized as I was watching the ball drop on 2015 that I had no way of knowing if 2015 was going to be the last year of my life. I thought I need to make this pain that I'm experiencing right now mean something. I need to live this year like it's the last year of my life. If Jim had known when we welcomed in 2014 that it was going to be the last year of his life, God, he would have gotten juice out of every single day. So that's how I took on the year of 2015. And I've renewed that commitment every New Year's Eve since then. And it's also kind of the reason how I came to do what it is that I do. After making that commitment, I ended up leaving a corporate job that was not working out in 2015. And I made a decision that I would have never done if I had not felt like I was living 2015, like my last year on earth. I left that job. I quit it cold. And it was the only income I had. I took my bank account (laughs) almost down to my last dime And I went to the life coach school. I bought a ticket, a plane ticket to California, where I paid for a hotel room for about 10 days. And I had to pay for the life coach school. It was scary. It was terrifying. It changed everything for me. From that moment on, what I learned changed me forever. It transformed me, you guys. It's also what I teach now to widows because I want every widow to have that kind of transformation. That's why I'm doing this. When I look back over the last three years, I can see I'm not the same woman that I was when Jim died three years ago. I'm an entirely different person. Would I want Jim back? Of course. If I could change that so that Jim never dies and we just stay in our happy, comfortable life and I keep living that comfortable life that I was living with my husband, I would do that. But the truth is, he died three years ago. And I was able to take that traumatic event and all that grief and pain and turn it into growth for myself. Instead of post-traumatic stress, I turned it into post-traumatic growth. I began coaching. I began learning to be an entrepreneur. That was like a whole nother 
level of education and a whole nother level of terror to do a business all by myself. I began transforming who I was into a woman who could reach out to other widows and help them. Now I teach those widows how to coach other widows. Now I help widows experience that transformation and growth too. Widow Coaches class is where I certify widows as widow coaches so they can reach out to other widows and coach them. And what I'm doing with that class it's more than just what you're going to learn over the 12 weeks. You're going to experience this kind of transformation yourself, right? I'm giving you someone who's going to be a leveled up version of you. I want to give what the life that I found through that transformation, I want to give that to other widows. I want other widows to be able to find a widow coach nearby to work with. Up until I started certifying widow coaches, when I wrote my first book, Widowed, I was the only widow coach in the country. As far as I could tell, as far as Googling could tell, <laughs> I was the only widow coach maybe in the whole world. And I knew we needed more like me out there. We needed widow coaches to become as readily available as anything else. Widows are this entire underserved segment of society who has no idea who to turn to. If coaching were more commonly known, if there were a widow coach in your general area that you could go to. What a difference that could make in those first months of grief, in that first year of grief. A widow coach is going to understand that you need to have the strength to get through this and to move ahead with your life again. You can do this. You could become a certified widow coach and work with other widows. You can. I'm telling you, I took the biggest leap of faith that my brain could wrap around. I walked out of that corporate job that I took right after Jim died. I took all my money and I went all in on this. I did an incredible amount of learning and growth. And I can truly sit here today and tell you, I'm not the same woman I was three years ago. This is how you take the worst thing that ever happened to you in your life and you make it mean something. You become something and experiencing that growth, that transformation, you make it become something you can be proud of. I'm so proud of who I do, to, who I am today and what I do today. I truly am. The kind of coaching I do and the kind of coaching I teach is transformational. There's no question. It's called called causal coaching. In other words, we're not going to just make someone feel better in the moment. We're not going to treat the symptoms. We're going to find what is causing their emotional pain and show them how to uncover that for themselves and to move through it. And once you know this, you can't unknow this. You can't unknow these tools. It changes you in amazing ways. It changes your life and how you look at life. So if you're stuck somewhere in your life, if you're still sitting in a chair in your living room each evening watching reruns, I know because right after Jim died, that's kind of where I was. I don't even know if I was watching the reruns. It was just something playing in that room while I sat there in a fog. If you can't bring yourself to try to do anything because you're in such traumatic pain from the loss of your spouse, you need to learn this. Learn it for you, if nothing else. Learn it for your own self and then decide what it is you want to do with the rest of your precious life. How will you go forward? How, you, how will you grow? 
It can be as a widow coach who's coaching other widows. It could be some other amazing thing. First, we need to heal you. We need you to be able to see the way out of the chair in your living room. Let's do that. This is the example of what's possible. Literally, there should be no day this year that you waste doing something that makes you miserable. There should be joy in every day. If you want to know more about this, first, you need to get on my mailing list. If you're not already on my mailing list, you need to get on there. Go to widowcoaches.com. That's widow coaches, C O A C H E S. Dot com. That page, you will put in your name and your email. It'll add you to my list. You'll get an email back with a link to where you can tell me a little more about you. Okay, I would love to chat about what we do in Widow Coaches class. Sometimes I am able to reach out directly to someone. Lately, I've been doing online video calls each week to chat with those of you who are interested in asking questions and finding out more about this. I love what I do. I want you to love what you're doing so that you begin to wake up each day, not dreading each day in your life, but looking forward to it, feeling truly grateful that you have another day on the planet. So go have a spectacular week. It could be the last friggin' week of your life. We truly never know. So get out there. Make it mean something. Find some joy. 